Pete Insider, Ethan Skolnick from Five Reason Sports. Thanks for doing this, Eth. Always good to be with you, Steve, even if I'm not really with you. <laughs> well, you are with us. Heat scheduled to leave for Orlando July 8th. They play out the balance of their season there. Heat forward Derek Jones Jr. He has uh, tested positive for coronavirus. The commissioner says that you can't outrun the virus. Is the Heat concerned? Well, I mean, they'd be concerned about anybody who ended up in this situation. But no, I mean, look, they're going to be able to contain this. When I was on that NBA conference call the other day, what came across was they thought there were going to be a lot more positive tests mm. than there actually were. Here's that Derek's going to be fine, and he wants to play. Remember, Derek's going to be a free agent after this season. He wants to play uh, when they resume the season, and that's the plan. Slam dunk champs. What is the policy for positive tests? Well, look, they're obviously going to quarantine anybody who has a test. They're going to wait until that person is asymptomatic. They're going to have to pass two tests within a 24-hour period mm -hmm. uh, to be able to come back. And, and again, the bubble is going to be very contained. I mean, nobody's going to be allowed to leave, and the players are basically going to be living in sort of high-end dorms playing a lot of, I don't know, NBA 2K and, <laughs> and doing a bunch of other stuff uh, for a two- to three-month period for a lot of them. So they'll quarantine it's not going to be like it was what we saw in March, where Rudy Gobert has it and the whole league shuts down. The NBA would not be coming back, as much money as is involved here, they would not be coming back if they were planning on shutting down after a couple of positive tests. All right, so the Heat go in the fourth seed in the East, eight regular season games before the playoffs. There is no home court advantage. What do the Heat <laughs> want to accomplish? Well, I think they can accomplish a lot, Steve. When I look at this, look, we don't know how players are going to come back from the break, right? The teams have done as, as good a job as they can and trying to provide programs for them and staying on top of them. But you don't really know. But I will say the Heat have a lot of things in their advantage right now. I think the teams that are going to have success are the stable organizations. We know the Miami Heat are. The ones with good head coaches. The Miami Heat have one of those because that head coach is going to have to assess his players when they come to training camp and say, you know what, I counted on this guy for four months. He's not in shape to do this, okay? Yeah. I need to go with somebody else. Right. I think the other te the teams you know, that are going to have success are also the teams with a lot of depth. I think that's going to help them. I think having a leader like Jimmy Butler helps them. I would take him over anybody but LeBron in that bubble in terms of wow. getting his team to play. Look, as, as, one of the, as one of the players' agents told me, when Jimmy tells you to get your butt somewhere, you get it there. <laughs> I think that's really, really going to help them. Uh, I think this is all positive for the Heat. I think they could have a good run there. Well, 22 teams are getting their butts up there. No weak teams out of the 22. What's the best matchup for the Heat going into the playoffs? The four teams they can play in the first round, Toronto, unlikely. Boston, possible. Indiana, Philadelphia. The worst matchup, Steve, is Boston. Mm. Um, Kemba Walker has always given them problems. They don't control the point of attack real well. I think the matchup they would want is Indiana. They were 2-0 against them this year. I think they feel good about their matchup with them. And remember, Jimmy Butler has something payback for T.J. Warren. He sees him <laughs> twice in these last eight regular season games. Sees him <laughs> twice. And when, and when I tweeted that yesterday, Steve, Dwayne Wade tweeted at me. Nice. With a popcorn emoji, okay? So <laughs> Get I, your I, popcorn ready. If, if he's ready, Jimmy's ready. Good stuff. Roster deadline Wednesday. Some players are in quarantine. Players are allowed to opt out and not play in the bubble. A couple of players have chosen not to play. Will there be more by Wednesday? There may be more, but not on the heat. Um, I was told a month ago they were all in, and, uh, and that's where they are. Someone else told me, they said, listen, these guys would live in an RV with each other for a month, okay? And, and play every day if they had to. They just like each other. They like to play. I think the Heat have the right group for this. You touched on this. The NBA has a snitch line set up in <laughs> case some players, they don't obey the rules. Do you think the players will be good while they're up there in Orlando? I think so. I think so. I mean, there'll always be a couple, but I, I do believe so. <laughs> Ethan Skolnick, Five Reasons Sports. Talk soon, Ethan. Thank you. Thanks, Steve.